Uh, my name is Tristan Wendell. I'm 22 years old and I'm currently a senior standing student at Fresno State. My fitness journey started, it's gonna be about a year and a half or so of training ago, I would count it. I mean, I've always gone to the gym like on and off, but to say where I really started with trying to get serious with my health and my physique, aesthetics, all of that, I would roughly say it's been about a year and a half now. I think it's just been that I've always been one of the bigger guys. Um, it's not something you're even really conscious of in the moment. It's one of those things actually where you kind of reflect back on photos and videos and you look back and you're like, oh dang, like I didn't even realize it was, it was rough like that. So the most that I was ever at was 285 pounds. So I was, I was pushing near 300. A good friend of mine, his name's Angel, he really stepped it up and he really was, he was just losing weight. I believe he was at 380 and he's been able to cut it down to, I think I was telling, he, I think he's at 250 pounds. So that's what, like, that's over 100 pounds. I'm not going to do that math in my head right now. But regardless, he inspired the heck out of me. It was really a big wake up call to see someone of his size saying that's enough you know like this this is not okay and him cutting down as much as he had i was like oh you know what like i i gotta do that too me and you are in this together and so from there we spent a ton of time just doing workouts together discussing supplements discussing diet like talking and just sharing all these ideas and i feel like we both really grew from that and even today now, we still will go work out together and we'll still uh, keep each other in check, doing like all of these things that, you know, like good friends that are just, you know, on a, on a similar path, we, that's just what we do. And so I would say for sure, he's, he's probably, my, he's my biggest motivation for sure. So my typical preparation for the gym, I, I have my alarm set up for specifically 8.25 a.m. I give myself like five minutes so I can hit that 8.30 a.m., that sweet spot. I'm just not the biggest morning person. For those of you that can, can get up, props to you guys. For me, it takes me a little bit. After that, um, I call it my morning rinse before the gym. I just like to feel fresh, so I get out of the shower. I'll go downstairs and uh, I try to time it to be an hour to an hour and a half before I go to the gym. I'll have my pre-workout meal. So I set aside certain macros and calories for my pre-workout meal that'll help fuel me through the workout, making sure I have enough protein to like really stimulate my muscle growth and development and to just have like some strength and power when I'm working out. And then I try to really focus on carbs just like maximizing my carb intake so that I just have energy flow throughout my workout. So have that meal prepared, eat it an, an hour to an hour and a half before. And then uh, I have a few like uh, workout supplements. So I take creatine, uh, pre-workout, and I recently got on citrulline mallet, I believe is how you pronounce it, how you say the term, which really just focus more, focuses more on the, the pump aspect during the workout. So um, I'll try to take those like around 30 to 45 minutes before I go to the gym, get my clothes on, um, pack up my bags and stuff, make sure I have, uh, well, I used to do lifting gloves. I don't really take those as often unless it's like a really heavy lift, um, mostly with back workouts, but I'll take like my, my trainer belt, uh, maybe an extra pair of shoes if I'm planning on switching the cardio at some point. And then once I'm loaded up on all that, just drive off to the gym. My gym's about like a five minute drive. And then, yeah, I'm there. So today we are targeting more upper body. Yesterday I was working uh, just with like legs and I like to normally do a split of either an upper day or a lower day. And I just kind of switch off back and forth. So every other day I would expect myself to be doing an upper Whereas on the other end, it would just be followed by a legs day, just to kind of um, give a break between the two. So I kind of do have a flexible schedule, which is really nice to put more time into doing the gym. I'm really lucky in that aspect that I get to go to the gym 
at more convenient times for myself, whereas other people have to really work around a schedule. I really do have the freedom of moving things around. So most of the time I try to aim for morning gym sessions for like two to two and a half hours, followed by maybe like 30 minutes to an hour of cardio. The gym for sure is like an everyday thing at this point. So seven days a week, you'll catch me at the gym. Five days a week, you'll catch me at work. One day a week, you'll have me commuting and traveling to go to school. So pretty much what I do now for my working sets versus what I did before is um, I'll do a warm-up set of like 65% kind of whatever working weight I'm doing just to kind of get it like warmed up and like yeah, I can kind of feel the activation I guess not just jumping straight into something ridiculous and then after that it's pretty much just whatever working set I'm doing I go for a 8 to 10 rep range if I can only get stopped at 8 then I know to stay there as of this moment right now, so the lowest I ever got was 224. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't been as consistent, but fortunately I've only gone a little bit up to 230 pounds. So um, I'm still down, what is that, 285 to 230? It's like 55 pounds, roughly. So dropped down 55 pounds, the most I ever, but lowest was like 61 pounds. Even now, I still have to see reminders let myself know that I'm actually doing something. Like, I've lost 60 pounds. My body has totally changed from how it looked when I was at my worst. And I still need to see reminders. I still have to, I find old photos and old videos and that, like, it restarts my fire. It re refuels me to realize, like, I need to keep pushing because I would post a lot of, um, tracking my uh, progress and whatnot. I went really public with that and trying to show people um, like, hey, this is what I'm doing. I'm just gonna throw it out there. Um, and I would get messages and stuff of people saying like, dude, like that's really cool that you're willing to like throw yourself out there. Like what's, what's your routine? What's your diet? And just getting asked these types of questions as if I'm some sort of expert when I myself I am no expert. It's stuff like that. It's the reminders from other people and from old images of yourself that remind you like, okay, yeah, you know what? I have made a little bit of progress. I am doing some things right. There's still a long ways to go though, but those for sure are some good reminders. Your motivation is gonna run out. And that's true. Like you would think like, this idea that you want to be fit is just going to continuously stay in your mind and be enough for you to get up and go to the gym. It's not. Eventually, you're still going to want that, yes, but it's not going to be enough to drive you to the gym. I don't have any motivation. That's too bad. I still got to go anyways because that's part of my plan. That's part of what works is that you have to keep at it. There are days where it's like, okay, I've been going this many times. I'm just over it. I don't want to do it. But keeping in mind, like you can't give up. Like if you, if you, if you stop, if you give it a break, you're going to suffer consequences for it. And so uh, something I would for sure emphasize for anyone who's trying to go to the gym now, just give it time. Trust me, it works. We all, it moves differently for all of us. It's definitely not something you can speed through and get instant results, but I feel like the results are definitely worth the wait. You just need to get in that mindset that it's not gonna come right away and you need to be willing to wait it out. And I think that is a big challenge mentally is this idea that there's always something else to do. It can be very overwhelming because like I said, there's no finish goal. And so just continuously putting in work and effort and consistency, trying to balance your life in all these different areas, it's so draining and it can be so tough on your mental if you feel like you're not getting the results that you want. You just gotta work through it. You just have to be patient. It's tough for sure, but it's it's a necessity. And that's, that's a tough part of it too is how, um, for a lot of people, how unattainable it is. For me, I'm lucky to be like, uh, I would consider myself like relatively higher middle class. I have um, support from other people. I have the convenience of buying, of being able to buy supplements like creatine, pre-workout, um, high protein foods, because it's expensive to try and take care of yourself in that way. And so that's just an added struggle too onto this whole like, can I even, is this even attainable? Can I even do this? Do I have the resources? Do I have the background? It's a really tough mental game, all of this. And at the end of the day, all I can say is try to get the knowledge you can, ask around, 
see what other people are doing and see if it can fit and work with you. Move at your own pace and someday it will pay off. You just gotta work through it.